The fashions and accessories celebrities wear in films and in public have been known to set style trends. This includes sunglasses and eyeglasses. The person responsible for many of these designs has built an entire business around famous eyes. Amy Powell has more on the woman known as the optician to the stars. Just about every big name celebrity has been caught with them on. Sunglasses, eyeglasses, any type of glasses. Whether it's for privacy, prescription, or just part of the look, everyone from Sylvester Stallone and Michael Jackson to Whoopi Goldberg and Sharon Stone have had glasses end up on the bridge of their noses. Who's the person responsible for these trend-setting designs? I think eyeglasses are the most important thing. <laughs> Cheryl Schumann has built a million-dollar business looking into the eyes of celebrities. I have been in, like, the bedrooms and bathrooms of, like, every celebrity in town. And what, one of the main reasons that I've been able to um, have a certain amount of success is I'm very protective of their privacy. So Besides making house show. calls to the rich and famous, <laughs> Schumann regularly advises producers on the style of eyewear to use for photo shoots and movies. This shoot is for Seventeen magazine. Right. Let's try these. These should be fun. I like to have a meeting with the actor or the director or sometimes both or talk to them over the phone and get an idea of what kind of personality that they want to project on screen. Schumann, a registered optician, has chosen the spectacles for more than 3,000 movies, including Batman Returns, Beethoven, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Jurassic Park, Rising Sun, and True romance. They needed something really tacky and he was an Elvis uh, uh, fanatic so we had the Elvis glasses for him and with her I mean her character was a prostitute so we wanted something really kind of sleazy and you know so we had these blue fluorescent you know shiny weird glasses. Schumann's eye-catching services aren't cheap. Studios pay her $3,000 a day, a far cry from 10 years ago when Schumann maxed out her credit cards to start her own business. My first goal was I just wanted to clear $200 a week. I thought if I can make $200 a week, I will be happy. Schumann fell into the eye business literally by accident. A near-fatal car crash ended a promising modeling career. So Schumann set out for Los Angeles and took a job working in an optical store earning five dollars an hour. Over the course of the next few weeks, Michael Jackson had come in one day in disguise and no one would help him, but I went over to help him and I found out who it was. And I'm like, you know, if people are bothering you, I can bring these over to your house and make a house call. And he's like, would you do that for me? I'm like, yeah, I'd do that for you. Schumann says she still gets really star eyes when working with certain celebrities. Her most memorable encounter was with Mel Gibson. He has the most incredible blue eyes I've like ever seen and I was so nervous but you know it's like you have to be professional and everything and I had to measure his PD which is the pupillary distance and to do that I mean you have to be almost nose to nose and you have to keep in mind this is someone I have fantasized about my entire life. <laughs> oh yeah that's, that looks really good. Little... Human's future appears to be so bright she's got to wear shades. I'm Amy Powell for E! News Daily. Schumann is taking her celebrity designs to the public. She regularly appears on QVC, pitching the latest shades appearing in movies.